Hello, welcome back to this lesson in circuit analysis. We're going to conquer this non-inverting op-amp problem. This one's actually a little simpler than the previous problem. Um, probably should have actually done this one first, but if you can handle the last problem, this one's going to be a piece of cake. Basically, you have feedback resistance, R sub S. This is going to completely govern the gain of this amplifier. The gain's always going to be greater than 1. The gain's going to be 1 plus this divided by this. And then we have to figure out what to multiply that gain by, because ultimately we're trying to find out the purpose of this problem. What is the output voltage? That's all we're trying to do. So when you find that gain, you have to multiply by the input signal. Do not multiply by 4 volts, because 4 volts is put through this voltage divider network, essentially. And so the, the way to properly handle it is to model this as a, uh, as a Thevenin equivalent, basically to figure out what the voltage is at this point. That's the point that's going to be effectively what's going to be amplified by that gain. So I could short circuit it and, and just kind of, you know, do it for you real quick, but I'm going to take you through everything as we did last time to make sure you understand. We're going to take this, which is basically a voltage source through this resistor network. We're going to look at from terminal A, uh, we're going to create something we're going to call terminal B, effectively, like this. And this is 4 volts, and this is 12K, and this is... Um, 68 kilo ohms. Now, how do we find the Thevenin equivalent voltage? That's the open circuit voltage from A to B. So, the Thevenin equivalent voltage is just a voltage divider. It's 4 times this resistor divided by the sum of these resistors. So, it's going to be 4 times the 68 from here, and you could do 68,000 and then divide by thousands, as all the thousands are going to go away, and it'll be 68 plus the 12 which is the sum of these resistors. So it's a simple voltage divider. So the Thevenin equivalent that you're going to get when you do that, this times this is going to give you 3.4 volts. Okay. Now really, you don't need the Thevenin equivalent um, resistance, but since we're doing it for completeness, we'll just say that the Thevenin equivalent uh, resistance is equal to, if you look backwards this way and you put a short circuit in for that voltage source, it's the parallel combination of these resistors. So the parallel combination is the 68 Basically, it's product over the sum. So 68 times 12 over 68 plus 12. And when you multiply and divide, you're going to get a Thevenin equivalent voltage of, uh, sorry, not voltage, a uh, resistance of 10.2 kilo ohms. So effectively, what you've done is you transformed what's actually you know, built in the circuit to a simpler equivalent circuit, which has a voltage, a Thevenin voltage of 3.4 volts, right? in series with a single resistor, and we'll call this terminal B that we're measuring it with respect to, and that uh, resistance is 10.2 kilo ohms. Okay, so this guy right here, this 3.4 volts, notice it's different than the 4 volts, but 3.4 with this resistance is you could physically remove this and connect that in its place and the circuit would behave exactly the same. That's the point of all of this. All right, so what we need to do then is figure out what is the gain of this amplifier so that we can calculate what the output voltage should really be. The gain is 1 plus this over this. There's no negative signs because this is a non-inverting configuration. So the gain is 1 plus the ratio of those two resistors, RF over RS. So it's 1 plus 63 over 30. Again, it's 63,000 and 30,000, the, all of those divide away, so what you end up with is 1 plus, uh, well, you know what, let's just do it this way. All right, so we're going to calculate the gain. It's going to be 1 plus the fraction 63 over 30, so what we're going to get is a gain of 3.1. That's the gain of this uh, non-inverted configuration. So to find the output voltage, it's very simple. It's going to be the gain times the input voltage. However, as I've said about 25,000 times, do not use what's in the circuit. You have to use the Thevenin equivalent because ultimately what you're interested in is what is the voltage here at this point. That's why we're finding a Thevenin equivalent because this is open circuit. So this voltage divider governs what the voltage is basically here. And because of the virtual short, that's how the analysis progresses from our original deal. So don't put that original voltage in. We're going to put the 3.1 in, but we're going to use the 3.4 volts that we have for the input voltage. Basically, this voltage we calculated there for the Thevenin uh, equivalent. So the output is then going to be 10.54 volts. And then you look and say, is 10.54 inside the linear region? It's almost to 12, not quite there, so it is in the linear region. 
So this is good. If we were to increase VG uh, a little bit more, or if we were to increase the gain a little bit more, then we would blow past 12 volts and we'd be in the saturation region. But right now, this one works fine. So again, pretty cookie cutter once you understand the process. Recognize this is something you can do a Thevenin equivalent for, calculate the gain, and then these problems become very similar. Now, make sure you can understand this one. Follow me on to the next uh, problem, where we're going to do a non-inverting problem uh, that's going to be a little, make you think a little bit more uh, about how to get to the answer.